to the Rio Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Jay Helfer with George Teachea. We are watching an eight ball match. This is the eight ball challenge. Mitch Edelman versus Rory Hendrickson. Rory uh, placed in the 10 ball U.S. Open uh, and then Mitch has been struggling. The U.S. Open eight ball and 10 ball, he played Rodney Morris both times and lost on the hill. So wow. we've had a great match here. Yeah. Yeah, Rory not only placed, he finished second. Right, that's what I said was placed. Uh, anyway, this is the 40th annual BC APL National Championships presented by CSI International. We're in the Pro Arena located in the Grand Ballroom at the Rio in Las Vegas, Nevada. Jay's new home for his condo. <laughs> <laughs> that's not important. <laughs> that's not <Please>. important. <laughs> uh, as these guys take off here... Uh, uh, this is a race to seven, playing eight ball. It's a second round match, so mm -hmm. we got we've got two days of this competition. You will be seeing the final two matches of the uh, ten ball the challenge. ten ball challenge. Yeah, let's see who we got left. I think Tommy Tokoff is playing Mike Deshane, and the winner is facing eighteen year old Manuel Perez in the finals. Mm. So I think we've got a match the next round at eleven. Excuse me, at one p.m is that uh, semifinal match in the men's 10-ball challenge. And at 5 p.m., you'll see the finals in, interspersed in between are going to be 8-ball challenge mm -hmm. matches. So we've got a lot of pool lined out for you, and we've had a lot of it. We've had 10 days of this now. Uh, U.S. Open 10-ball, 8-ball, 8-ball challenge, 9-ball challenge, 10-ball challenge. So, And a great exhibition match by Alex Paglion and uh, the Hansons. So we've had some great pool and more to come. Mitch Ellerman is off to uh, off to the races here already. Yeah, don't blink when Mitch is shooting. He <laughs> doesn't waste any time. <laughs> Mitch, is, Mitch was the 2008 champion for um, U.S. Bar, uh, Bar Table Championships where he double-dipped Jose Parica. And this was in 2008, so that was eight years ago. And Parica was quite a factor, in, on, on especially on the seven-foot table. Mitch plays all games. He's from Arizona. Rory uh, in Fargo, North Dakota. House pro for the biggest bar in the country. Fargo Billiards. Fargo Billiards. Mike Page is Fargo Billiards. He has a lot to do with the Fargo rate. So this is a good matchup here. And actually, I think, um, as you can see by their uh, uh, Fargo rating, they're pretty well matched up. 729 versus 741. Those are high ratings. Yes. that's mm, Well, these are professional, professional level players. Pl professional level players, exactly. Mitch had, is making quick work of this rack. He'll make quick work of many racks, as will Rory. To go one to nothing. Now I've had uh, I've played with Mitch since 2007, actually 2006. You played on a team together, right? Played on a team together. He, I uh, he beat me in the finals of uh, 2007 Arizona State Eight Ball Championship. Uh, where he also won the 10-ball championship that, that same year. He won the 8-ball, the 10-ball, and Scott Frost won the 9-ball. The prior year, he won the 10-ball, Scott won the 9-ball, and I won the 8-ball. <laughs> I, years I know for many years they considered Mitch the second-best player in Arizona to Scott Frost. I don't know what it's like now, but uh, uh, I haven't heard as much about Mitch the last few years. He's been laying low. He took a little break from Arizona, and... Um, left for a little bit and has come back now and uh, he needs to reestablish his position in Arizona. But he's up at the very top. And he's at the top of the food chain. As you Sounds like you are too. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm in my sunset years playing pool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't meaning to brag. I just, he was 18 or 19 years old back then, so. Uh, and doing very, very well. Rory breaking from the left, hitting that second ball break. Nice break, but everything's on one side of the table. This isn't you know, this alternate break. Um, it's important to hold your serve. If you get the break, you want to win that game because otherwise you can get uh, run over real quick. You'll be down so many games and won't get to the table except the break. I think Rory's going to have to shoot the stripes. That's the only ball he's got right now. Uh, he could shoot the start out with the four ball in the upper corner. He's got uh, he's got choices. Uh, the one ball's tough. The five ball and six ball are tough. So 
see how he chooses, how he goes. I'm predicting stripes. Meanwhile, he'll just get up there and pump that <laughs> four ball in. It like looks nothing. like he's firing the four ball straight down. He could also play the three ball in you the know, upper right you hand know corner. Why, you know why, George? Because the two ball is blocking the pocket on the 12. But mm -hmm. you can shoot the 12 up in the corner. Well, so now he changed his mind. He's going back, back to stripes. Yep. Oh, that was interesting. Where was he going on? Oh, maybe he, he was to trying to move out. the 12. He was trying to move yeah, the 12. But see, yeah. if he moves the 12 ball and doesn't get a shot on it, he's got a long shot on this bottom ball down here, uh, the 15 ball. And that's all he really has. Well, that's what he's going to shoot at now. <laughs> you know it's hot in Las Vegas. All our players are wearing shorts. Well, in these uh, challenge challenge. Uh, tournament uh, there that's part of the dress code they can wear shorts and hot las vegas so we're in the desert it's setting the uh oh it's setting heat wave records hmm. this week is it really yeah probably for arizona it's average temperatures but here it's been running 112 to 115 every day hmm what's he gonna do now he's punt. got nothing he's gonna punt uh, he's probably gonna try to roll up on top of the uh 15 ball and just uh, roll up on gonna, top oh, of the 15. He's going to give him ball in hand. and Oh, he's thinking about jumping. I thought he might put the the five he and the six together. He is going to jump. Gonna Here jump comes that, his yeah. jump cue. He's going to jump. Rory had a good ball. payday in the eight ball. He finished second to Shane Van Boning. Picked up $6,000. In the ten ball. Was that the ten ball? That was the ten ball. Okay. What did we have first? So we had... Uh, we had the 10-ball first, and then uh, the 8-ball. No, I'm talking about the Open tournament. Yes. The, the, the big ones, the U.S. Open. 10-ball was first, and 8-ball was second. Oh, he finished second in the 10-ball, the first mm -hmm. Open tournament. Thank you for that correction. It's okay. Let's see if he can do we, this. We've had 10 days being back here. and uh, That's a foul. Yeah, we've seen some great pool, some great players. I think uh, Mitch might try to get that one ball out of there first. Well, um, that's what he's up looking at. It opens up from there, doesn't it? The one, the three, and then out, uh, or the six, the one, the six, the five. Lots of things you can do here. See how he handles it. You know, you try to call these, and they just see something different than from what we do up here. Uh, they're on a different level. Let's see, he's looking at the three. I'd really be surprised if he doesn't shoot that one first, but he uh, looks like he wants to shoot the three ball. The one is going to present a problem later. He's going to stay right there for it and cut it in the side. Man, yeah, maybe not. That, uh, wow. That one ball's not going in the side. He is the 2008 champion, so. And he does very well in the local tour that we have in Arizona. The Diamond Pool Tour now used to be the Desert Classic. There were several years he won the tour. He'd have the most points. He'd be at the top of the heap, him and Gus Brasino. And Scott Frost, of course. Always a factor. Let's see what he's going to do here. Is he going to try and slide go for up the on one. the break this one up? No. no. He's going to go for the four ball and then try. He's trying to get on the one now. Well, he and he went too far. I think he's got a bad angle. He's, he's got to get straight in on the six, shoot the six, and then the one, I guess. Yes. But yes he's, uh, this is not an easy out. Will he go forward and try to put the one on the side? He's going to shoot the six next. But he, he can't kill the cue ball on the rail. He's going to run it beneath the five and play the five in the side, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, and he didn't get the angle to get to the one. He would have if he hadn't have bumped it coming Correct. off the rail. But that was the risk he took coming off the rail. What are you going to do now, Mitch? you got to come with something here. Oh, you know, he could go down past the one. I think he could shoot, shoot the, the one corner. up in this corner, the same place he shot the six. No, Wait he's a just going to take it right here. He's going to shoot it from here. He's going to cut it, clip the eight. He has to clip the eight. He doesn't have to clip the eight. I don't think. Go back and forth, I think, with a little bit of low. Or will he go up into the eight and clip it all together? Yeah, he'll just, oh, but he missed the one. 
Well, that was the problem with that one ball. You needed to be pretty straight on it, although yeah. he could see enough of it to make it. Yeah, he, he could have. Um, he was just watching the eight ball too careful. He was too careful with the eight, not enough attention on the one. Well, Rory's going to take advantage of this. Oh, yes. Most players will. You leave them with four open balls like this, and uh, they just kind of lick their chops and go to work. Forward to the side. There you go. They'll just stop and shoot the eight in the side and tie this match up. Mm -hmm. That's a big break for Mitch there. To come to the table to be able to go up break. Years ago, and I would have thought, I would have considered Mitch one of the straightest shooters in the pool game. Oh, my. He fired him in from everywhere. And didn't take more than two strokes. He'd line up, whack, whack, and um, he two-stroked everything. And He's got some great uh, highlight reels on, uh, on YouTube that Fast Lenny has put on there. So there's a lot to Mitch's game. And there's a lot to Rory's game. You know, Rory in the Midwest has been winning tournaments for how long? A couple dec more than two decades. <laughs> uh, Mitch, of course, is on the younger side of the, he's under 30. I think he's like 20, I'm not real sure how old he, he is He might now. be older than that now. He's been around a while. He may be 30 years old. Mm -hmm. I should know that, I mean. Well, when he won the U.S. bar table, that's eight years ago. He was in his early 20s then. Mm -hmm. So there you go. He might be pushing 30. Oh, he's a seasoned vet. Left-hander. Powerful break. Nice spread on the balls. Wow. Nothing's tied up. Everything is just laying so, so open, so beautiful. Just he's eyeing that 15 ball. Well, he's he's going to go with the stripes. There's nothing. Uh, a ball goes in the upper right hand corner. Everything is laying so, so well for the stripes. Yeah, the solid. You've got that six ball on the rail. That's mm. so that would that would well. probably be the deciding factor. Correct. Yeah, this is perfect because this opens up to nine. And from there, it's just to the middle of the table. He, he can run all these balls with the exception of the 12 from the middle of the table. And, of course, the 15 on the right takes care of that. So I uh, anticipate him uh, getting out here. I actually would have saved that shot for the 12 ball to make sure you can lay on the 12 unless it goes by to the other corner. It does. It doesn't? Okay, then that's exactly what he's playing. That's why he didn't do it that way. <laughs> Not a problem. See, they, they see angles we don't see up here. Uh, he's going to slide up table for the nine. Hmm. Just kind of a soft draw like that. Well done. You know, I think we should have a commentator's ring game at the end of all this. We should. <laughs> we definitely should. You just bought a brand new cue. Uh, I just bought a brand new cue. Yeah, but you got a better cue than me. That's a big. You got to give me a handicap. <laughs> Eight ball in the corner to take a two-one lead. You know, up here at the national championships, they put everything together. The scram ballroom has what uh, forty vendors, forty-five vendors all together. A lot. There's a lot. I mean, if, if you if there's something you want that's pool related and you can't get it here, I don't think they make it. <laughs> so it's all here. I mean, I find tables. things here every year, George, that oh. I never never saw before. Yeah, and, and, you, you, and you didn't even know the use for it until you saw it. So um, that's one of the beauties of coming up here and spending. A lot of people spend their vacation up here. You know, it's ten days, and uh, they'll come up here and play all the events and uh, spend ten days in Vegas. It's a pool holiday. Yes, it is. And, you, you know, meet up with old friends from all over the country. I mean, there's, what, 7,000 players here? There's a lot. I don't know. It's in the thousands. Yeah. I know that. 
Yeah, you and we got the yeah, we got the team events yeah. going on now, so it's most crowded mm -hmm. in this arena. Mm -hmm. Three large rooms. Each room has over 120, uh, almost 120 tables. Uh, there's a total of 302 tables, I believe, in the building, at least, not including the ones in the booths. And That's the this is the world's <coughs> biggest pool room. Correct. Correct. Right now it is. Yes, it is. Nice break, Rory. You will have a shot. Yes. If you take the nine. He smacked those, didn't he? Yeah, he did. My ears still hurt from that noise. That was. Oh, Rory's smack. always had a powerful break. Yeah. He's a pretty robust man. I like the looks of this table. Mm-hmm. And I think he does, too. I think he's taking stripes. It's funny how the, 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 the solids are clustered in the middle. Not clustered, but they're grouped in the middle right. of the table. And the, s the stripes are all on the outside of the table, you know, on, on, on the fringes, on the perimeter. Toughest shot he has is getting on that 14 for the side pocket. He's done that already. Yeah, he's going to take this 12 ball first, though. Probably do the same mm -hmm. thing. Go two rails around again. Maybe this. Oh, he's drawing well, out. Mm -hmm. and he's he got a little bit on the wrong side of the 14, although he may shoot it and take the 11. Let's see. He's going to have to navigate. He's going to take the 11 first. Everybody's got their own way mm -hmm. of going about their business in eight ball. Yeah, he's, going to he's going up now. He's taking the 14 now. Well, he might run into balls here. I think he's got a little window here between the one and the four. Mm -hmm. See, he just did. like he that. that. Just right. like that. All downhill from here. Will he bump the eight or shoot the 13? And there's your answer. Or my answer, excuse me. Nice soft touch. We'll probably see him do the same thing with uh, for the eight ball. More than likely played in the same pocket or just drift over to the rail and played in the opposite one. He wants to play in the same pocket. Yeah. He's got a little bit of a funny angle to draw back. He may have to yeah, use a little bit of left English and go around it. Well, what's this? What is this? He was going for the side pocket. What is he shooting here? He's in buddy? trouble. He's in a little bit of trouble. Wow. This I'm is harder than he I'm wants to shoot. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Um, he should have yeah. tried to go around that ball somehow and shoot it in the same corner pocket. But now, this is no bargain to yeah. cut this ball from this close. Yeah. These little off-angle shots can be tricky, but I think he'll navigate this. He no, he didn't. It. He missed it. He was, yeah, he was in trouble. I don't care who you are. You give yourself that little angle, like you said, close to the ball. And they're a little harder to see when you're up that close. I agree with that. Rory's shaking his head. I mean, he made a nice run out and just played bad position on the eight. He felt he felt the position for the ball. Oh, my, 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 did Mitch um, get away with one there? I, thought I don't think I've seen a ball this week wobble that much and fall in. I, I Usually if they wobble yeah. like that, they stand up. I haven't. I thought that had stood up for him. I thought it was, I thought Rory was up with a straight in eight ball. Well, on uh, such uh, mistakes like Rory just made, matches are decided. Because this is, if, if Mitch finishes off these last few balls, he's going to take a 3-1 to one lead. With the break. With the break. The all-important break. It has been. You know, the break has won games for, for, uh, for, opponent, for players, and it's lost, game, lost matches for players. Um, the deciding challenge match between Shane and Thorson was the break. I believe Thorson broke dry. And Shane ran out. When it went hill hill. When it went hill hill at yeah. twenty at twenty twenty, uh, there were several uh, U.S. Open matches that were decided that way. Um, so the break is all important, but it's I don't I can't say it's an advantage, but you have to say it's an advantage. I think most players, if you offer them a choice, they want to take the they break. Want a break. Yeah, I agree. It's going down table. Slide the cue ball to the left. Take the eight in the side. He played a little better position on the eight than Rory did. This is the position you want on the eight ball. 
straight in a foot and a half away. <laughs> and the, with the eight ball in the middle of the pocket. Yeah. And with a three to one lead, Mitch, is, Mitch Ellerman is breaking the balls. Now keep in mind, these players probably don't mind, well they probably, of course they might go into the loser bracket, but Shane Van Boney, for instance, uh, lost his first match in the U.S. Open 8-ball. Won 11 matches in a row. Uh, came oh. back and um, took the title from who did he beat in the finals. He beat Rory. So then it was the 8-ball the that Rory did well in, not the 10-ball. Wait a second. Oh, we're so confused. I'm so confused. Yeah, he came He came back in the 8-ball and went to the finals. Okay. Uh Sorry about that. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll try to get you the right information. <laughs> we should have it. Yeah, Rory was in the hot seat. I think it was the eight ball. Shane won both of the U.S. Open tournaments. He won the ten ball and the eight ball. Mm -hmm. That's right. He in the ten ball, he beat Rodney in the finals. Rodney there put him in go. the hot. Rodney won the there hot seat, go. and uh, he came back. So it was the eight ball. We're very sorry. I'm very sorry that sit there and uh, say it was the 10 ball. Oh well, 10 days of pool. We've seen a lot of it. Let's see if Rory can atone for his mistake in that last rack. Uh, he better because um, it'll get away from him if he doesn't. So it weighed on his mind a little bit. He had <laughs> a, he was slumped over when he was sitting in his chair. Yeah, there's no doubt now. It was it was the eight ball. But wonder how it felt for Shane to play Rory Hendrickson in the finals of the U.S. Open eight ball championships when uh, he kind of mentored uh, Shane for quite some time. I think for Shane it was business as usual. Of course, he's gonna he's gonna beat whoever he plays. I think it was exciting for Rory. No, oh. yeah. <laughs> Look what I helped create. <laughs> this little monster is going to drill me. Uh, I asked him after the match uh, during mm -hmm. the interview. I said, "Did you have any idea when you started coaching Shane when he was 11 years old that he was going to be a great champion?" He said, "Yeah." He said, "I could see right away that he had what it takes." No, uh, and he was right. And you can see it. We saw some great. We've seen some great talent here. With that was that 21 year old. Uh, Tyler Tyler Steyer Steyer and then we saw Manny Perez we're gonna uh, see him we're gonna see him in the finals at okay. five o'clock at the 10 ball oh hello Rory tries a bank shot and hit it off the point uh, this match is getting away from Rory because you don't want to let this beast at the table when this young man gets free free stroke and wow what do you call him the mission man? The mission man? No, I said this beast. <laughs> but you said something else like, oh, when this young man. When this young man. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't have a nickname for okay, Mitch. Okay, okay. Uh, very respectful young man. He's uh, Always has been. Always has been, yeah. I was just, I kidded uh, Rodney and him. I said, you guys are my two favorite left-handed players. Next to me, of course. <laughs> Are you a lefty? I'm lefty also. Okay. Like Mike Siegel and Steve mm -hmm. Miserec. They were pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. I'll say. You know, Mike Siegel, that I, I heard an interview with Efren where um, they asked him who he thought the best player he has ever played was, and he said Mike Siegel. There's a couple of hundred other guys who would say the same yeah. thing. <laughs> I saw a lot of Mike Siegel in right. my time. As you can see, meanwhile, back at the ranch, Mitch took com full advantage of that opportunity and uh, took big that lead away. Now. now he's got a big lead, right? George, I'll give you an interesting tribute of information about awesome. Mike Siegel. Not 11 tournaments in a row, but 11 tournaments where Mike Siegel reached the finals. 11 in a row mm -hmm. he won. That wasn't 11 straight tournaments, but 11 times in a row when he reached the final match, Mike Siegel won. He could, they couldn't beat him in the finals. I, and he beat Efren. He beat Earl. He beat uh, Buddy Hall. 
well. Nick Varner. Those are the kind of people he beat in the final matches. And these are all major tournaments I'm talking about. You know, there's some players that get in, into the final, for instance, in this pro arena. They feed on the energy of the crowd, of the player, of the intensity of the match. It seems to bring, uh, it draws out the best of Shane him. is like that. Yes. If Shane gets to the finals, he's tough to beat. Yeah. And he proved that this week. Yes, he did. He's he in Qatar now. Yeah. Their start today is the first day of the group stages of the World mm -hmm. Nine Ball Championship. There's 128 players, 16 groups of eight. They play double elimination, and four players of the eight get through to the final 64 and single elimination from there. Unfortunately, that's not being streamed. You, all you can do is get um, live updates. results. Yeah, updates, live results. Yeah. Meanwhile, Rory needs to roar back here. This is a this is a bad layout yes. here. Look at how these balls are laid. Well, I mean, if he's, I think he's gonna have to start with the five ball. Everything's in about one third he's area of the table. He's not even looking at the five. He's, he's looking, looking like he wants everything. to shoot something yeah. in the side. I don't know. Yeah, he's trying to shoot that seven ball off the fourteen. It looks like. He, he made did. it. He made it. And where's the cue ball going? Well, no shot. No shot. Well, he's got a three ball combination, four, six, two. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably going to have, yeah, it looks uh, like he's going to have to shoot that one ball. Uh, That's about the only open ball he's got. He never looked at the five ball. The six ball I didn't think was a problem. Yeah. He was lined up on it, but, you know, he's at the table. He's a little out of sync right now. Well, after that missed eight ball. That wobbled that shot. one in. Might have wobbled it, but that was still a good shot. That's the kind of shot that gets you back in. You know, this, the tough one, blood test, and you pass the test, and I believe he's open now to the three to go to the five and uh, work his way around the rest of the rack. Uh, careful. He's okay. He's more than okay. He's happy. This doesn't look like a walk in the park yet, though. No. He's still got some work to do to clear that four ball out of there. Um, he can get to the six and two, but the four, it may pass the nine ball. Let's see. I'm not sure. We'll find it, it, out soon enough. It looks like it might. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a, close. It, it looks like it'll go. It's got about a half a pocket. I like taking the five ball now and coming two rails for position on the four on the side. Well, he's going to shoot the five ball, I'm almost sure. Yeah, doesn't really. Well, you could shoot the two, but I, I don't see him doing that. Might be able to come just straight across or underneath the 15 and the nine. What are you looking at? Oh, he's looking to shoot the five off the six if he plays, plays the two first. The five off the six? After he shoots the six, the cue ball will then end up in that area, and he'll be able to have a shot on the five if he chooses. See what he just did there? Justin Bergman was doing that quite a bit. He didn't like it. He went straight across. See if it works out. For it worked out very well for him. Especially if you can shoot the four on the mm -hmm. side. Mm-hmm. Shoot the six if he wants to come back for the four. He can use the nine ball to get position on the four. But does it go past the third? Yeah, it does. It does. Good view of the table here. That overhead really adds adds a little bit to the to the game here. Well, he's going to take the six. He's just got to play some good position on that four ball at some point. And probably it's right now. Right now. Yeah. Don't slide past the nine. Yeah, see, he used the nine ball to bump it. I think he solved this a riddle or puzzle or piece of the pie. It's down to the last slice. He'll eat the whole pie in this game. Uh, he doesn't like that. He can't like that. Well, at least he made it. He's got to shoot over the top of the 15. All he really needs to do is roll the two yeah. ball in yep. slowly. 
And he'll be fine for the eight ball. And he, he did. got it. He did. He got there. He just kind of dropped the cue stick right on the ball. And Rory's going to win his second game. Mm -hmm. See, I, 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 that shot right there, personally, I dread it. Over a ball like that. Don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't care for it, but he was forced to shoot it. Unfortunately, he forced himself to shoot it. Well, Mitchell's back at it, tr uh, leading four to two. Breaking to uh, get to seven. Fargo says that there's an 88% chance that he will close this match out before Rory does. We've seen that r be wrong, haven't we? <laughs> Especially in the case of Rory Hendrickson. Yeah, really. In the eight ball, yeah. he was the underdog in every match he played. He had one of the lowest Fargo ratings. Yeah. Yeah. So um, there was your underdog coming through and getting in the final undefeated. I remember him being showing him as the underdog in the match when he was actually leading. Mm, yes. When he was ahead. Yes. I said that's a little strange. I saw I saw one match where the player was had a five percent chance to win at six to two in a race to nine and he came back and won. There you go. Mitch comes up empty again and uh I'm not sure what Rory's got here. Well, the key ball's smothered by that six and four ball. He's going to take the seven, probably play shape for the five. Oh, that's the seven. Uh huh. Okay. And yeah, probably play shape for the three ball combo on the six. Oh, get up there. He could billiard it. He could, yeah, he he could, could come off the it. bottom. Mm -hmm. He could come off it. the bottom of the five. I'm thinking he wanted to get up there for it, though, because yeah. he plays that five into it. It's The problem with the carom at this point in time is. What will he shoot next? Possibly the four the ball's the about four ball it. On the side, really. That's about all he has because the, the two and the one, the two the two goes, but watch small this windows. shot. This is a carom. Mm -hmm. Well done. And watch this. He got out there a little bit. Yep. Where does he go after shooting the four? It's his only shot available. Unless he tra takes on the five in the side, of which I doubt he'll shoot. He doesn't have much whichever way he goes. Right. Look at the three ball up in the upper left-hand corner. Only shot that's open for a shot is the five and the deuce on the right side of the table. There's a good shot of both of them. Top of your screen. This is no bargain right here, shooting the four on the side. No. Again, it's one of those shots where the cue ball is very close to the four, yep. so it's, it's a little harder to gauge the angle on these shots. He you don't have a good perspective on it. He missed that very same shot when he missed that eight ball. It was just like that four ball. Very, very similar shot. Something tells me he's going to hit this a little better. <laughs> wow, he yes, he did. He socked it pretty hard. He didn't improve. He didn't improve his uh, location though. He made it. He made it worse. Now he yeah. tied up the one with yes. the two ball. I mean, he's looking at shooting the five in the side, but from that angle. And what does he shoot afterwards? Look at the one two. What do you shoot after the five if you make it? And I don't. You tell me. Where do you see a safety? Uh, with that fifteen ball in the upper left-hand corner pocket, nowhere. Not what an effective one. What about coming off the side of the three and making that that fifteen ball? Well, he's got to look at the 12. Yeah. And well, he might hide it behind those two balls. Let's see. Yeah, he's playing safe, but yeah. that's... Well, what he did is he tied up that one ball. I think it's the 10 ball. Yes. He tied up one stripe ball, so it forces Mitch to break up that ball. Oh, uh, it's not going to do much for him because uh, he can break it from the 12. He can break it from the 11. He can break it from the 13. Um, he's got opportunity here. Big... Big plus for Mitch here. It was his break, so he's got to win this game. Uh, get on five. And he'll have three breaks to three breaks for the match. If he gets We're to the hill. We're going to seven. Yeah. If he gets on the hill. 
winning this game, and then if he gets on the hill, he's, he'll have three breaks if the score stays the same as it is. Uh, are we might try to break yeah, it right here. As I say, are we going to open up that, that 12 ball? ball? Yeah, yeah, he's looking at it now. See, the problem with shooting shots like this is you're never really sure where your object ball is going to go, yeah. although it looks like the 10. Oh, let's see. He's going this way. Okay. Don't All go right, in nine. Mitch. He doesn't want the nine in there. It's interesting he's taking these now. See, I would leave that as a safety valve and if I broke the 10 out so I'd have mm -hmm. a shot. If I didn't get a shot on well, the 10. Well, that's the problem because now when he yeah. breaks this out, he better leave a shot. Yep. And you and see, he didn't get one. Didn't work. Oh, didn't work. ouch, Mitch. Trouble in River City. Yeah, that 10 ball was really surrounded. Mm hmm. And you thought it was going to be an easy breakout, George. I did, but uh, I would have left the safety valve. I'm going to remind you what you said. <laughs> yeah. I, th I thought he had Be a, careful a, what a you ask for. It's okay. I'm leaving the safety valve. Well, you should have told Mitch. He never listened to me anyway. <laughs> 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 He's going to come back into those balls. Yeah, he was... He was trying to do something with that three ball and put him up against these balls. That was actually a good shot had he uh, been successful either pushing the three into the pocket or pushing it out of the way. Meanwhile, how's Rory going to break these balls out? Uh, you got no way to go here. We're he going to have some we're going to have some more safeties before this game is over. Rory's got a nice safety here. He can play this three ball and try to get to where his hand is, his left hand and hit the five and and, and freeze him up between the five and the two, right in between them both. Rory's got a lot of experience yeah. playing eight ball yep. on a small yep. table. He's got a nice. He's got a little house built for that. Aha! Uh -huh. Boy, uh -huh. that ball hung for a long time. He called. He didn't call it. So he called a safe. Well, Mitch is going to go warp speed here. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. We haven't had a stalemate game yet. Uh, no. Hmm. He, he didn't see. He didn't give him a window to get behind that five, but uh, I think he's going to use the eight to block the. What if he lo if he doesn't block the eleven? He's got a breakout on the ten. Mitchell have a breakout on the ten. This is interesting. Very. Neither guy wants to be the one to break up those three balls. I think he's thinking. Hey, if I cut the one in, the cue ball could come all the way down table. No, I uh, better not do that. No, the eight ball. Uh, Looms big. It's an awful big ball. See, he's going to use the eight to block the uh, the eleven, just like that. Wow, nice yeah. shot, Rory. That was yep. a brilliant safety there. Mm -hmm. Mitch is going to give up ball in hand, but he might be able to massay this and catch uh, the outside of the ten. Boy, oh him. boy. He that's can't make it. He can just maybe just keep up, keep from giving up ball in hand. There ain't much He's ten ball to hit. He's trying to kick into eleven. That's yeah. not. Yeah, he'll hit it. I think he, yeah, did. he did. He might make it, but he didn't call that. I guess he did call that. <laughs> this isn't bad. This isn't bad. Nice and soft, real soft. Just get to the rail. He'll have the. The five and the deuce on the rail, along with the cue ball, he might be able to get behind the ten. It looks like if he shoots yeah. off the bottom of the ten ball, it might open up the ten. Just hit it real soft. Do you think maybe he's trying to play it off the deuce? No, 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 no. But if he hits it real soft off the bat, what you doing? Oh, he's going to make the ball for him. <laughs> Give him ball in hand. Uh, he shouldn't pick the ball up when it's still rolling like right, that. Right, right. Amateurs watching, don't pick that ball up. Referees here. It's already a foul. Here we so. go. Watch and here's this. the shot Watch I was this. talking about earlier. Yeah, oh, there you he go. Didn't, I don't think he got him. I think he's uh, Mitch no, is he able to him. hit. He got him. He got he him good. He can't hit any part of it? No. No, he doesn't. Okay, I see yeah. that now. Wow. Okay, is he going to jump oh, those balls? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Thank you, John, for that uh, camera angle. He is in jail, but uh, he's going to go two rails at this. Good luck on this one. Mm -hmm. Although it is hittable. He on just a two wants rail to shot. hit it. He just wants to hit it. Oh, it looks like he can't get to where he needs to get. He's going to have to go three rails. 
And even the eight ball has that. No, he's looking at two rails. Oh, he's got room. Yeah, he's got room. But he's got to he's got to spin this ball a lot. To, this is a very hard shot to gauge because it's not a natural two no. railer. I Look at this. He, he might have made it. I think he hit it. He hit it. Oh. You know what? He left it tough. But Rory's going to save him again. This ain't going to get any better oh, for Mitch gonna, anytime soon. He's going to lock him up behind the five. He's just all he's got to do is roll into the two ball slowly. <laughs> yeah. See, he could go for this, but the safe no, is, no, is no, higher no, percentage. No, no. He ain't going for nothing and here. It's deadlier. He's gonna. Be. Rory, just all you need to do is just roll the roll slowly into the two and let the two touch the rail. The cue ball's blocked by the five, and he's gonna have to kick again. Yeah, that's uh, it. That's it. You don't it even have to tie it up on the five. You don't have to do anything funny he, there. He better stop him from kicking. This ball can be kicked in. Yeah, he kind of. I think he'd have been better off if he'd left the cue ball on the rail. Would have been a lot harder anyway. It, it didn't take much to, to hey. nuzzle up to the five ball. This is no bargain, but I think Mitch can hit the ball. I'm I sure think he's Mitch calling the ball. Wow. See, I, th yeah, I was thinking Mitch. Well, look hey, at this. Look at there this. you go. Look at this. I thought Mitch would make that ball. He look kicks very this. well. Meanwhile, look at this leaf. Mitch has got the upper hand now. Mm-hmm. He's, I think he's going to force Rory to bank the two ball. Yeah. He had to put him up behind that five. It's a big that, game. That good hit by Mitch just turned mm -hmm. the game around. Rory had the upper hand for a moment. In my opinion, he loafed on the safety behind the five. Right. Could have locked him up a lot better yes. than that. Yes. Anyway. Meanwhile, back at the ranch here, he's got to bank the two. He's got, he can just go for the two. He's got to. I don't see anything else. No, he's got to go for the two, and it's a very makeable shot. The cue ball is going to go two rails towards the five anyway. He's going to have two hard shots. Even if he makes this, he's <laughs> going to have to shoot another hard shot. I think if he makes this, the cue ball goes three rails and hits the five. Uh, he doesn't have a he doesn't have that big an angle here. He's got a pr he's got a real problem. He's going one rail to the side pocket, I think. The eight's not in the way. No. The two can be made. He's oh, he's trying to he's trying to tie up this oh, ball. Oh, he's got rail first. All oh, he doesn't anymore. He did a great job of tying up that ball. Well, there you go, Rory. You outthought both of us there. Yes, you did. Nice shot. Don't play chess I, with I, that man. He'll give yeah, you his bishop. I knew this guy was a good player. <laughs> he was there. These are the reason. kind of guys I hate to play eight ball with. <laughs> they understand the game. <laughs> when you think you got, the, when you think you got the best of it. Yeah, we. I mean, we thought he had to go for that ball. Uh, I thought. Well, he, had he to was go for just he was playing to hook him behind the five, but mm. the two got in play too. He made it even harder. Well, he's going to shoot this soft and, and just get to the ten ball and. Try to freeze him up again, but um, Rory has the upper hand here because even if he hits this ball, wow! I don't know about this shot. I don't know about this shot. Awful small ball. Awful small ball. He's going to hit the two ball. Yes, he is. Give up ball in hand. And uh, Rory will do what? He can pocket the ten ball for him and hook him onto five. He can shoot the five and open up the deuce. So this could still be a stalemate game if neither one of them wants to shoot those two balls down there. I don't I know. Think if I don't he's going to shoot the five. Well, the and only open way, it up. yeah, he's yeah. going to have to. Mm -hmm. Now, if he shoots the five and draws down into the two and makes the ten, the ten ball, he's good. Well, that's that's exactly what he's going to try. I think it's not really a hard shot because he's so close to nope. them. Well, he's got ball in hand too. There's nothing wrong with making the 10 and putting the cue ball behind the 5, too. Both shots are good. And at this level, executable. He missed, missed it. it. He missed now the he's in trouble. How could he miss the whole ball there? Now he. He uh, just lined up bad on that, George. <coughs> well, you know. Here's what I'm going to do in this spot. I'm going to go rail first, slide off the top of the two, make the 10, and leave the cue ball in the middle of the end rail and make make 
Mitch, Mitch shoot a very shot. hard shot. I'm going to I'm going to hit the left side of the two very soft, just enough to make the ten, and try to get that two ball to come back on top of the cue ball. I think you're asking for too much there. I I, I agree, but I'd rather do that because it's going to leave the cue ball against the rail anyway. It's it's not hard to come across the two it's though, hard. you know, going rail first, and the cue ball is going to slide towards the middle of the end rail. Mm -hmm. That's the only place. There. Well, let's see. First of all, Rory has outsmarted us Both, already. Yeah. But he might just treetop him over the two. Maybe. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. I, I see what you mean. Have him yeah. bridge over the top have of the two. How hard is that him. shot then? Yes. Yeah. It's better than shooting it off the middle rail. Well, he's given it a lot of thought yep. here. Yeah, that's. he's thinking just mm -hmm. along the lines of what you just said. Let's see. Hit it real soft. Of course. If you do it that way. That's what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. Well, he didn't really he didn't. do it because Mitch can bridge on this yeah. ball. But he's got to come with a great shot. Look at this. Mitch came right to the table. Of course. He didn't waste a second. Boom. Ooh. Oh, my Lord. It went in. Can you believe that? That's twice we've seen this happen. You know what happened? I think there was a little bit of a, a tremor and the ball fell. That one looked like it was standing up for sure. Yep. It was that it one it hit almost four stopped. it hit four rails. I thought it had stopped before it fell in. Oh boy. Well that was an interesting game mm -hmm. of eight ball. But he didn't treetop him. It slid off to the side on him. He wanted to. He wanted to, yes. Yeah. Yeah, he wanted to. And of course those real slow rolls like that on any table, uh, you don't always end up where you want to. Not that the table rolls off because I haven't seen a roll on this table. But they're just hard. Well, he had a golden play. opportunity when he was drawing up that five ball. All he, had, all he had to do was touch the two ball and the ten would go in. Well, I'm going to say that Mitch is in control of this match at this point. Rory needs, oh, he doesn't need to do that. Mitch is gaining a even greater control now. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of clusters here, though. Yes, it's not. It's not a walk in the park. Rory knows that he's given away. You know, the two games he gave away. That's a four-game swing in the match. Mm -hmm. The one where he got funny on the eight ball in this last game here. I mean, you 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 turn that around, and he's ahead like four to three. Oh. That's exactly. how big a difference exactly. it would make. Exactly. Missed eight ball this two games. He did that. He, you know, he's done like you just mentioned. He's, um, he's let it get away. It's not over yet, but no, uh, no, no. We've seen we've seen a sick dog get well here. I kind of like Mitch's chances though. Yeah. What's he calling? Is he calling the five ball? I have no idea what he's playing here, folks. I don't think folks. so. Oh. He shot the stripe. He shot the 14. That overhead view didn't look like that ball went by. He still has to do something with the 11 ball that's right to the left of the 8 on the left side of your screen there. He may be able to break it right now, just like that. Not enough. Well, it didn't break. He hit the 8 too hard. It mm. slowed the cue ball down. He's going to have to leave the 15 ball there to deal with that um, 11 ball. Is that the 11 or the 13? That's it. That's yeah, it's the 13 up there. The stripe next to the middle of the table at the hit spot. Yeah. <laughs> the that? stripe attached to the 6 ball right yeah, now. Yeah, that one right there. It's the 11. It is. Missed it. He missed that one. These gentlemen are missing balls now. Not something they uh, they do often. One more chance for Rory Hendrickson. Well, he broke the 11 ball out for him, but he tied it back up again with the 15 ball. Which he's not unhappy about doing that. No, he's not. Well, this makes him a big favorite in this game. But Mr. Elliman will be breaking the balls next. 
after this game. Well, I hesitate to say that Rory should, should get out, out of here. Well, no hesitation. He should get out here. Any anybody with a 730 uh, Fargo should get out here. Everything is open. He's, He's kind of struggling right now. He'll follow this for the six and the side, then the deuce and the side, then the seven and the eight. Shouldn't be. Well, he's going to. Never mind. He won't do that. He'll play the seven first and probably go up for the six. There you go. He's going to deal him with him in his, in his manner, which is fine. He's at the table. He's taking the deuce now. He just got to remember to get shape on the eight. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem. Anywhere close to where he's at now would be shape. It's funny how you try to get to a certain location and it still lays a little funny. No more funny business. He got where he needed. No, he didn't. He got on the rail. <laughs> he wanted to just come straight back for the position on the eight. Now he has to do something else. Besides, come I hope he's back. got a little angle here. Yeah. He's pretty straight, I'll tell you. He's, he's okay. He's he got off. He got there. He got there. Game number three for Rory Hendrickson. But as you said, Mitch is breaking. Mm -hmm. Although the break has not been a big advantage in this no. match. No, it has not. I think it's favored Mitch more than it's favored Rory, though. Has Mitch scratched on the break? I don't think he's he scratched on He hasn't scratched on, on the break. I don't think he scratched on it, but I believe Rory did. We'll have a match coming to you at 1 o'clock, which is probably going to be right after this one. This one's taken, uh, it's almost noon. So we're an hour into this, close to an hour into this match. I told you, these are a lot longer than the, uh, the 10, ball. 10 ball and yeah. 9 ball. We had a discussion about that, and you did say that, and we have to agree. Well, eight ball, occasionally you'll have a long game, which we just had the last game, not this previous game, but the game before, where there's a safety battle that ensues. You don't see much of that in nine ball or ten ball. Mm -hmm. Well, Mitch will break, trying to get on the hill with this break. No cheap shots. He has to run the balls. Good, powerful break. Nothing on there goes a ball. ball. Made a ball. There goes a ball. The all-important ball on the break. Solids are open. What do you start with? The three ball? The one ball? Shh. Maybe the four. Can you even see the four? Yeah, you can see the four. A little cut shot or a bank shot. Yeah, he's got to take solids. I don't see any. I don't see any shot at the, the stripe. Well, the solids lay better than the stripes do. Not anymore. <laughs> well, I, yeah, oh. the six ball doesn't go now. Now it has to be moved. It doesn't appear to go to the right-hand corner pocket, the top of your screen. Well, yeah, I still four see ball goes. He's going to play He's the 11 play on the side. What a shot to start with. All Boy, because this is the a, six ball's there? This is a demanding shot here. Um, it's a very sharp easier. angle. Wow. Right. That's the straight shooter we know. Mm-hmm. And where does the straight shooter go to from here? You might have to play that combination. You might have to play that nine ball on the side. He's going to play the combination. He's taking your shot, Jay. It's not my shot. It's his. He's kicking me to the curb. Ain't getting any better, though. He's in trouble, Jay. In fact, it's getting worse. Mitchell's scrambling. Mitchell is scrambling. Now what, Mitch? Uh, can he put him up against the 15? Or the whatever, the ball next to the the second stripe on the left side on top of the table, at the head of the table. Hit the 12 and up against that ball. Tough, tough, tough. Oh, no, it's, it's wow. He's just got nothing. Well, I don't understand why he wouldn't take solids. 
Well, he didn't have to deal with those three balls a, on that side. That's just a bad memory right now. Just, I keep looking at the screen and the solids just lay so much nicer than the stripes. They look pretty good right yeah, now for yeah. Rory. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> well, they look real good for Mitch. But, you know, it's who's at the table? And that's what they see. We see it different. Different skill levels, different skill sets. He wants to play something. What's he shooting? Is he going to no, just try to lay the cue ball behind the 14? No, no, he's going down table. Get down there. Oh, that took care of it right there. If he slides by the 8, he would have had a safe behind the 8 ball. I see. I saw his thinking once the ball was rolling, but he didn't didn't get behind the eight and he uh, gave it up to Rory. Well, this is how matches are decided. Like you said, this is how matches are decided. Games like this, but uh, this will this will if he gets out here, Rory's breaking the, the uh, will be breaking the balls to tie it up. And the odds of him running these f last four balls are very high. This is only the second round of the Open 8 ball mm -hmm. tournament. And uh, the loser here will still be alive. You know, as I see him uh, look at those those uh, that three ball right now, just before he, he addressed this shot, he doesn't look as confident as he looked in the U.S. Open eight ball. His kinda eyes aren't as confident. I'm kind of surprised yeah. he's not taking the three ball here. Huh? He just hooked himself. Yeah. He j uh, why he why just he would himself. why he wouldn't shoot the three ball with two open balls, I do not know. Wow. Because that was a pretty loose shot he just took for lack of a better word now he's got a big problem oh my yes well even when the odds are high you'll run out you don't always get there but he's still shooting so doesn't mean he hasn't completed this run out yet well he's looking safety looking somewhere where you can hide the cue ball at least not give Mitch an open shot four balls to do to two the odds of him playing safe against those five balls excuse me are slim and the odds how about slim and none and <laughs> yeah slim and none I didn't want to say he'd that like to, he'd like to roll the cue ball down there on top of the 13 that's about the best he could do mm -hmm. put it be, put it between the 13 and the, well that's not where he's going though yeah this is tie up the 13. Yeah. Well, okay. Now, how do you like Mitchell just uh he can just go behind the 9. I mean, the 9 ball and, and block it with the 10, but he's going to run out. He's going to run out here. Well, he's got to break up that 13 yeah. now. He's he'll get it done. You got confidence in I him. I have confidence in him. Or he'll play safe to get it done. I have confidence See in that, See, what he could have done is just roll slowly into the 13, kick off one Whoa. rail, and he left a safe. Anyway, he's well. gonna, he's only got one ball he's gonna able to use to break it up. And it's this one. He's got an angle. It's a pretty severe angle, but I think he can hit the three ball. I think he can hit the three ball with the cue ball. Ex not the three ball, the, the five. five ball the with the, the cue ball. His target ball. Wait a second. He's going to go ahead and put him up against. He wants to put him up against the eight. Well, uh, we got another safety battle going. This isn't much of a safety. Um, having the ten ball there, the three ball where it's at. Uh, Rory's going to have to do something down here with the five. I'm not so sure. He's just not going to shoot the three ball. <laughs> he not try to make it. He could just pocket the the ten ball for him. And give him ball in hand. He's not trying to make this ball, is he? No, nope. of course not. He's going to bank it down close to it. Yeah, see this? He maneuvered. He outmaneuvered him here because now he's got a ball close to the cluster he wants to break up. 
in case uh, the shot is available. But Mitch can follow this ball down and leave him on the left side of the table where he can't see the three and put the 10 ball. Well, yeah, just put it right there, right by the side. Give him the shot on the three. Hang the 10 ball out. No, hang the 10. Well, he's hooked him. He'll roll up to it softly. He can, he can break the five out here and go up against the eight. He's going to pocket it for him. Yeah. Why not? Could He would have done that last time. Been just as effective. Yeah, Mitch will go up here. He'll go to the t head of the table. All the way up. Just like that. And he'll go right where he pointed. He'll put the cue ball there. This is going to be a bit of a long game. There'll be probably three more safeties. This one, Mitch's. Does the eight ball move? Yes, it moves. So now it gives him a, uh, no. It, it worked out nice. Oh. Yeah, Mitch has got to do something yeah. here. Ah, he's going to try to kick this ball in. Now I'm going to say he's going to come pretty close to it. Or make it. Well, he's got a little help with that five ball. If we catch the bottom of the edge of the five, it, but it's a this is a tall order here to it make it this it ball. Is. It is. And it's and there's just no way he's going to play safe. Yep. Nope. I mean, he's going to give up a shot if he misses it. He's going with speed. He wants to make this ball. Well, the five did help him, yeah. but it's not going to save him. No. <laughs> Lined him up straight in. This match just turned around. We saw some maneuvering. We've seen some maneuvering. To pull within one game. Game and the break. We're actually watching a pretty good match. Um, they've made some mistakes, but you've seen how they've handled uh, handled it to continue to try to win the game. Well, we've seen some good safety play. Mm -hmm. I'd say the match overall is, has been somewhat ragged. A lot of open runouts were not completed not, not, by yes. either player. Yeah. We've seen some of the strategy, I guess. You might use an A ball when you're not able or you right. don't complete your runouts. And this is really the kind of eight ball games you see in league play. Exactly. Exactly. We're not used to seeing with pros. We're used to seeing pros run no. out. And they do most of the time when they've got an open table. And we've we've really seen that this uh this week in the eight ball open US Open the eight championship. Ball. The eight ball went down, but it's not going to count, Rory. Yep. And we saw nothing but runouts in both uh, challenge matches. The Tiger Challenge. Nope. The, the Pick Your Poison Challenge and the OB Challenge. They're both eight ball. I mean, it was run out after run out. We probably saw 60 run outs. A lot. Out of those, out of those 80 games they played. Well, like I said, I'm not predicting any runouts anymore in this match. <laughs> it just hasn't been happening. Right, right. And maybe if I don't predict it, it will happen. Yeah. Well, he's got five of his solids all in a cluster by that side pocket. Would you like to play some one pocket side pocket? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> uh I played a game of one pocket once where I had to make one ball in the side pocket and the other guy had to make 10 in his corner pocket. Well, he beat me every game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was 
a little naive to that gaff. I didn't like that. I'd, I'd rather see him shoot the five ball to that ball. But he's okay. Uh, I don't know. Shoots the five ball. He moves the three. He might have been in good shape. I don't he's think in trouble he's okay. here. Yeah, I no, agree. he's in trouble here. I, I didn't agree. like the way he shot that at all. He has to cut this ball. He's going to open these balls up. Where are they going? Well, he want, he's acting like he wants to draw the cue ball away from the five, but he's not. I think you got to just roll it slow right through that opening, even if you bump the four ball. Because if you bump the four slowly, you still should have a shot in the corner and a shot at the five. Don't hit this one hard. If you hit it hard, it's going to cause problems, I think. That's more like it. See, now he can shoot the four on the side. Mm -hmm. And the three and five will both go. That was a very sensible shot, Mr. Hendrickson. Ooh. <laughs> he just got around there. <laughs> now he'll get position for the five and then come over for the three. Or stay there for the three and then the eight ball goes right over. So he's in good shape here. Two rail position for the five. Probably just stop it dead or fall just a hair. Stop it dead. There he is. Do we really have a game that's going to go according to Hoyle? <laughs> Mitch Ellerman had a big lead, 5-2, but it's wow. all gone now. He was in control. Uh, now he's in danger of uh, this break becomes all important. They could have just played a race to two. <laughs> Make it easy, less time. Less entertainment. Well, this is just gives you more, more play time. You guys get to watch the players struggle, just like a lot of the league players do, a lot of the amateur players do, because they have struggled. They're out there struggling now. <laughs> Another word is scramble. They're scrambling. Mitch needs to come up with a way to make mm -hmm. a break and run. Mm -hmm. He hasn't done that the last few break shots. He's not going to do it there either. I don't think he's going to go in. There's the one. Win it. You know, he but hit him hard, but they just didn't spread no, out. No, I didn't think he was going to go in. It was almost like he gave himself a little bit of a slug rack. Those balls didn't open up. He's taken solids. He's got five more to go. Every solid does have a pocket. Uh, yes. He's got to maneuver here to get on the six ball or the five. Right here is where it gets yep, tricky. Right here it got tricky. Looks like he's going to try to spin into the 13 to get on the six. Oh, and he came all east in trouble. In trouble. He's got to shoot the seven. That's his only ball. No, seven's gone. Oh, that's yeah, it's that's the fifteen. To the five, the oh, four, well, the six in the middle. He's in trouble. Uh, he's behind yeah. a ball. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's Mitch up did it sale. again. Yep. Mitch did it again. He wanted to bump that ball. He didn't I, don't, I think he wanted to stay short of that ball. Yeah. He, he, down wanted, on top he of wanted to it. be on the Four or five? Shooting the five ball, maybe. Can he see yes. it? Yes, he could. Oh, he could, but he missed it. He had to make that ball. And now, the tables 14-13 14, 14, combination looks like it's good in the side. Yeah. And it would probably be the right combination to shoot right now. Break up those two balls. Oh, we're going hill, hill. You watch. <laughs> Um, the balls here at this point really favor Rory. He just put, if he puts that cue ball where he's aiming right now off this 12, Mitch is safe. He's going to have to kick slowly to the, f to the five on the bottom rail and, uh, and leave a safe and leave a low percentage shot. But 
he can be put up there again and again. He's That's looking it. at your shot now. It's not uh, my shot. I keep telling you that. <laughs> it's, it's his your call. shot. It's his shot. He's going for the run out. Got that one. And now everything except even the eight ball. Does the eight ball go on the lower right? Yeah, it'll go. Okay, then he's got everything opened up. He needs to go upstream after this nine ball to take care of the four balls there, then get the 15 last and slide over for the eight. He ain't going to do it that way. You know that. I know that, but that's just, you know, one way of doing it. He's going to show me three <laughs> other ways of doing it. Uh, and, and I also don't believe he's going to run out, even though everything's in the open. I just think something's going to happen. And you know, if he It looks really good. Uh, I mean, the 10 ball is probably the only difficult ball. He could play the 10 ball last if he wanted to. Well, it looks like now like he's saving that yeah. 15. He could he could play the 10 ball last and roll down for the 8 ball if he shoots it from the at the head of the table or from where he is now. Oh, well, he's not saving the 15 for last mm -hmm. if he shoots it now. Mm -hmm. he so now I think he's, well, let's see how he goes about his work. I, I don't get it, D George. I don't get it. I don't <laughs> get that, that strategy. I think he needed that ball there. No, the 10 ball, the 10 ball makes sense. If he lays the cue ball on the rail right now from yeah. where he is. Yeah, if. Comes right That's a if. big if. He he's hasn't been able to do that the last few times he's had an opportunity. Yeah, see, he's looking at it rolling down from the 10 with the 10, I think. Both these guys have been a little out of sync in this match. Neither one is, it could really brag about their sparkling performance. Well, they've been here 10 days. And 10 days in this Vegas. This is the 10th day, yeah. you're right. 10 days in Vegas can can take its toll. Yeah, it'll wear on you this town. Yes. I aged 10 years. <laughs> well, he got perfect position yes. here. Yes. He might be able to. Just sure. roll that yeah. cue ball right to the rail. Mm -hmm. Lay it on the rail. And he did. Not bad. Let's see what you can do, Rory. Boy, nice run out. Bite my tongue, Jay. Mr. Hendrickson is on the hill and breaking. He's won four games in a row. Mm -hmm. Mitch had him at five to two. We said that Mitch was in complete control of this um, this match. That was a while back. Yeah, and then uh, Mitch decided. That was to about prove two hours wrong. ago. Yeah. <laughs> match is running almost an hour and 15 minutes right now now see this is where where players will really perform when they made a comeback like this it gets the blood flowing and I'm gonna predict a break and a run here well I'll go the other way Okay. Well, that's the way you could go. <laughs> no, I could have agreed with you. Oh, that's true. You're the one that always disagrees. <laughs> not me. Well, it's just to make a good conversation in well, the Well, that's not I'm I'm disagreeing. I don't think there's going to be a break and run. That's all. Okay. No hard feelings. None at all. Well, there's a ball on the break and it was a solid. And you can see there's some uh work to be done. A lot of work to be done. <laughs> Um, Both solids and stripes are a little tied up on that side rail where the eight is. Come on, Rory. I predicted the break and run because I thought you'd really be up for this challenge. You want to close it out. You feel good about winning four straight games. You want this run out. I thought you'd come through with a big break. I don't think he. I don't think that he's nervous or anything no. like that. Now I just think that he's no. a little uncomfortable with his game. He's. Neither player is playing with a lot of confidence. If he plays the two, he well, he opens up the one, but he opens up Mitch's uh, two stripes on the rail there by the one ball on the right well, side. Either way, he's you're going to have to break balls. He's playing this four. What's he playing? The he might be ball? playing the five ball. The five Let's ball. See. 
He's cutting the five ball in the corner. He's looking to cut the five ball. He's uh, not sure what he wants to do yet. I think I'll be quiet and let it happen. Well, to play the five, he's got to shoot the four into the eight. He might be just cutting the five. Can he see enough of that ball? I don't know. That's why I can't tell what he's doing. He did. Yeah. See, from up here, uh -huh. you can't see that. You can't see that opening. He had it. He took it. And he's still going to have to do something with that one ball. Yep. I think that one ball can be taken care of from the two, so he'll try to pocket this four out for the two and then deal with the one. Unless he takes the two ball now, which is quite possible. I believe well, there seems some ten upon shooting this four ball. Why he can shoot it to the corner. Meanwhile, I he's like not. He's still not sure. I like the he's two ball. Still here. not sure. The question is. What will he do next? Mm, he's going to come out. He went too far. He's in trouble. I think he can see the two. I think he can I just see the edge of the two enough to make it. Sure he can. And the nice thing is the cue ball is tracking so that it, it probably will help the one ball. Yeah, but he's got half a pocket with a seven sitting in front of it. That's not, he's not even close. Yeah. He did get that one in play. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mitch, now it's your turn to run out, so we go Hill Hill. We've already written this script. You've got to do it. You did call for a Hill Hill. I called for a run out there, and uh, that didn't happen. Now, Mitchell, it's all in your hands. The problem he's got is that 12 ball on the rail. That 12 ball is a problem because it's blocked on both sides on the rail. Doesn't have a pocket, has to be banked or moved. Shooting a little combo here. Coming over. He's got to get position on this 10 ball next for the right, for the lower left hand corner pocket. He'll draw the ball and come into the 14 or the 15, whichever, just like this. Boy, look at that. He cleared that 12 mm -hmm. ball out. And he got position on the 10 or the f or the 15 ball that's next to it. Now he runs both balls to the left. He's going to play one pocket with these three balls. Shoot the 10 and move mm -hmm. that six ball out of the way. Mm -hmm. Can he do it? Ouch, he's in trouble. No, he can still shoot that. Yeah, it's a tough 12 shot. Ball. Is it the 12 or the 10 down there? That so close. This is a tough shot. He's going to have to scrape yeah. that 14 yes. ball. Look at this. Look it's at coming this. straight up and back. There you go. Well done, Mitchell. Nice position. Good angle. Now he just has to make this ball. He's okay. It did get there. It yes. crawled in the pocket. Yes. Pocket speed. He knew it all the time. It's Hill Hill, folks. Couldn't have been any other way. <laughs> Are they going to take a break? He yeah, is. they're He's taking a, take break. a little break. All right, we're going to take a little recess. We'll be back in a couple minutes.
Well, welcome back to the CSI Pro Arena at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino. You're watching a match between Mitch Ellerman and Rory Hendrickson. This is the second round of the eight ball challenge. Uh, we're at the 10th day here at the national championships. And we have a hill hill match with Mitch breaking the balls. They're, this match is being played on diamond tables, seven foot diamond tables, Simonis cloth using Cyclop balls. Predator chalk, ten, Predator 1080 chalk, and uh, Omega Billiards is the store official store of the tournament. Uh, Jay Helford is in the booth with me. He stepped out for just a second. He'll be back in a second. Uh, Jay's written two books that are available at Omega Billiards. Pick up the books, bring them down. Jay will sign them for you. And we're off and running. Hill Hill match. Mitch Ellerman, Rory Hendrickson. Smack goes the break. There goes the three. And we're off and running. This match is Mitch had a five to two lead. Uh, Rory won four games in a row to get on the hill. Broke for the hill. Didn't close. Mitch was able to get that game and now is breaking to win the match. I don't think we've had a break and a run out in this match yet. Maybe yeah. the early games. Yeah, Maybe yeah. the early games. Jay's back. We did at the beginning, but mm -hmm. uh, Mitch is studying the table now. He wants to get out here. They've exchanged some, some we've seen some pretty good safety play. A uh, little strategic game here. The uh, Rory, Rory has impressed me with his safety play mm -hmm. in this match. Rory says, I've been in this spot before. <laughs> I know what to do. Mm -hmm. He's going to start with these two balls in the corner, just like that. And Basically, now that opened up the solids. And he's got to go to the side on the right side for the four and the two. Can Mitch run these balls under pressure? George, you would know. You know Mitch. The answer is definitely yes. He's a good pressure player. Definitely yes. Okay. Well, he's got to make some good shots. That six in the side is no bargain. He's going to miss this ball. Oh, bad start. Wow. And that ball actually frees him up because from there he could have gone to the three that he needs on the side and then the five on the bottom. Well, the he, at least he blocked the 11 ball on that pocket where the four is now. Mitch is shaking his head. How can mm. I miss that opening ball? But Rory's got to deal with the nine and the 12 on the left side rail. This could potentially be a long game, but I'll tell you, with these balls all spread out, I have a sense that one or the other is going to run a rack or run or complete a rack. Next time they're up, this time or next time? Maybe this time. Uh -huh. Let's see. He's got two balls there on the rail that are a little bit tough. The 11 ball, which is right in the middle of the table by the spot, is tough. Doesn't really have a pocket. Um, it wants to break a ball right now, I mm -hmm. think. He's coming into the nine, I think. Yeah, there it is right there. He's in trouble. Just like that. He's in trouble just, just on the first like shot. That. Well, you know, George, you know this. When you turn your cue ball loose, bad things can happen. That's, and they can and they did, and he's scrambling. And Mitchell has a uh, ball in the jaws, so it's hard to play that one safe. He um, might try he to might come. He might come off the 15 and try to lay the cue ball behind the nine. Exactly. That, that's If he can snu snuggle it in there, he'll have a pretty good safety. It's a pretty sensitive shot, though. Mm -hmm. He's got to be careful not to open up that six ball that's by the 12. That's what Rory's looking at is yeah. just laying that cue ball on the side rail behind the nine. Unfortunately, he doesn't have much choice. Yeah. He's got to nuzzle up against the ball. Just a little soft roll. Rory's trying to figure out something else, but I have a feeling he's going to go back to that safety. <laughs> Let's see, what could he possibly do here? He could possibly try to cut that uh, 15 ball to the side pocket. Um, Flyer. No. That's What's a flyer. What is yeah, this? That's what he's trying. That's what he's thinking. No, Just no. by looking at this, he's thinking this. What is this? What in the world is this? That's a flyer. 
Boy, Always playing ball. safe behind, not giving up the one. Wow, Hello, he got that ball. ball to the end rail. Well, he got that ball what down will Mitchell to the do end here? rail. Yeah, Mitchell's got no open shot at the four ball. Uh, rail first is available. Jump shot is available. Well, so far, neither one of those is an easy shot. No, 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 neither one. But uh, I'll tell you what, Rory came up with a pretty good safety there mm. from a bad spot. I think he Three goes. Three rail safety. Yeah. Yeah, go rail first and hit the top yes. of the four ball, even if you don't make it. Mm -hmm. I think if he goes rail first off the top of the four, he's trying to make it, and he's going to be playing f for shape. For once, we agree. Yeah, that's it's, <laughs> it's, it's the only shot really he, that he has. It's very makeable. Slow, slow, slow. Oh, no, wow. no, hard because you want position. He's going for the run out. Oh, here. so he was yeah. going for he it was, all the yes. way. He wasn't playing a two-way no. shot there. No. He plays he a two-way shot. He makes it. He's dead. He might be able to shoot the six in the side. Better or the shoot. three. Why not shoot the three and then the six in the side? This ball straight into the corner pocket. Oh wow! Nicely done. Actually, actually, that Nicely was very good. Done, Mitch. It's too sharp of an angle for the side. And now he goes to the one from here, and then to the two, and then to the eight. If he can't get out from here, he doesn't deser deserve to win the match. He just doesn't. He's punching those balls now. Yeah. He's not slow rolling anything. Well, he's gonna. Uh oh. Boy, he oh, just got it. He just that got ball. there. Wow. This ball's coming back just a little. Or will he go forward? You know, this looks more like Mitch's game. Just get up there and fire away. Wow. For the match. And the title. And the title? There's no title. You get to move on to your next match. That's third the round. title. That's the title. In the winner's side. The third round. Good match, gentlemen. We will be back with our next, let's see, 10-ball match, right? Uh, yeah, it's a 10-ball. 1 o'clock. Semifinals. Be back in half an hour.